first, a Greek journalist has been arrested after publishing a list of wealthy Greeks who have money in Swiss bank accounts. The list, which contains more than 2,000 names, was originally given to Greek authorities in 2010. It was supposed to help in the crackdown of potential tax dodgers. John Seropoulos has more details. Sunday's annual Ochi parade marks the day in 1940 that Greece stood up to Italian fascism and entered World War II. It's regarded as perhaps the proudest moment in modern Greek history. But while children were parading in celebration of Greek freedom, a heavy police presence obscured the event, and a short distance away, a Greek journalist was being arrested for publishing what purports to be a list of potential tax evaders. <laughs> It is not nice to come here to see my child, to see all the children, and hold my 10-year-old child next to me, and for him to see all these police, all these special forces. What for? What for? We are all citizens of this country. The journalist, Kostas Vaksevanis, was arrested after his magazine, Hot Doc, on Friday published what appears to be the so-called Lagarde list, the names of more than 2,000 Greeks who have collectively deposited nearly two billion dollars in Swiss bank accounts. It was passed to the Greek government in 2010 by IMF chief Christine Lagarde to assist Athens in investigating tax evaders. Hot Doc carefully avoids accusing those named of tax evasion, but it pointedly demands a proper investigation. Legal pretexts have been used to cover this up. Legal arguments about personal data and whether the list is legal or illegal. The upshot is that the list was covered up. Many of the people on it are friends of ministers, friends of members of parliament, who eat with them. They're friends of the former prime minister. I'm not criminalising friendship, but I do say that when for three years something happens for this list to be lost like some everyday object, I'm entitled to wonder what has become of it over these years. Names said to feature in the document include a former government minister and a senior advisor to the current prime minister. Several senior finance ministry officials are also included. And it's not just a list of well-known Greek businessmen and international entrepreneurs. Perhaps most surprising is the number of people with occupation listed as housewife or student or receptionist. The magazine asks how such occupations can have generated the income required to open a Swiss account. The authorities accuse Mr. Vaksevanis of breaching the privacy of the people on the list. It's a charge he has pledged to vigorously contest when he next appears in court on Monday. John Seropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens. Well, Isaac Karipidis is a Greek journalist who lives here in London and joins me now in the studio. Isaac, uh, welcome to the programme. How damaging do you think this list is to the current Greek government? I'm not sure if uh, it's damaging the, uh, the current Greek government, but it's a very big issue in Greece. Is uh, Since 2010, we have heard about this list. We have heard that other countries that have taken advantage of the list, like uh, Italy, Spain, uh, Britain, Germany, but the Greek authorities, they haven't done anything so far to, to see which of these people, if, the, if, if it's the correct list, have illegally exported their money to Swiss banks and which not. So uh, definitely, I think, it's one step forward. There were, the last uh, three to four months, there were a lot of rumors in Greece for who is in, who is in this list and who is not in this list. We heard uh, uh, names of ex-prime minister, of prime ministers, of uh, senior advisors to the, to the government, uh, um, uh, minister of finance, and other people, high-profile politicians. Now we have the list, at least according to whatever uh, uh, Kostas Vaksevanis has uh, published. So if this list is, is real, is it now not going to be, is there now not going to be pressure from the Greek people on the authorities to look at the list and, and decide whether anybody has been illegally transferring money out of the country into these Swiss bank accounts? Or is the Swiss, are, the, are the Greek authorities going to try and you know, push this under the carpet because they don't want to be seen to be touching something like that at the moment? You I, don't know. It's difficult to I, answer, I, isn't it? It's very difficult to answer. You're right. But I think it's a very good step forward. Now, it's difficult for the Greek government or for the Greek authorities to put the list under the carpet. Yeah, it's difficult to ignore. It's, it's difficult to ignore, exactly. So uh, my, my guess is that we will see more uh, rapid process in order to see uh, who has 
uh, export the money illegally to the Swiss banks. What's going to be the Swiss bank. What is going to be interesting, of course, is also to see what happens to this particular journalist who seems to be the only journalist who, who was, dare I say, it, brave enough to actually expose this list, particularly if other uh, magazines, other newspapers in Greece had access to that list. Do you think the law is going to come down on him quite tough? It is a very interesting question, but just to let you know that uh, since, uh, uh, since everyone was known that... Uh, uh, Vaxavani was arrested. We have a pe petition on online. And uh, a few minutes ago, when I, I checked for the last moment, they have 14,000 people saying that they have, the Greek authorities, they have to drop the, uh, the uh, charges. The charges, exactly. Uh, so I think it will be very difficult. It will be extremely difficult for the Greek authorities to. Uh, to accuse him or to, to put him in prison or to put him a, a fine because whatever he has done, it was for the public interest. And if I was in his position, I would have done exactly the same without any doubt. Really good to talk to you, Isaac Karipidis. Thank you very much indeed for coming in. Thank you. Thanks very much.